Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. This is what you have all been waiting for. <laughs> this is going to be the video of your life. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. This is going to be the poly gel review on Madam Glam, um, their new poly gel that is out. I will say and will compare the other uh, ones that I have tried. I have used the regular poly gel, gelish poly gel, and I have used Venalisa poly gel. It's not a real solid poly gel, not the Venalisa. It's like a builder gel in a bottle, but it works. It works really good, and I I wore that for like two months. So if you guys have not watched that video, I have a complete tutorial on it. Please check it out. Update, quick uh, little show and tell. This is the gelish. This is the natural clear sheer. It is not. It is not clear. It is a sheer. And that is the real poly gel here, okay? You guys have saw me use this on other videos. If you have not, please go watch those. I've done like a stiletto nail with it, and I showed it off in my Venalisa video as well. This stuff works really nice. Um, it's a little difficult to maneuver, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's not bad. Uh... Next is the Venalisa. You saw me use this. I used it in the YS um, nail dual forms. It worked absolutely incredible. It held up for like two months before I took it off and I wore it on this hand. I believe it was this hand. And then this hand, I did regular gel with dual forms. So I've got videos on both of those. Check them out if you want. But... I would definitely recommend the Venalisa. It works great and it costs way less, way less than the real poly gel. Okay, let's move on. We're going to move to the Madam Glam poly gel. Now, one thing I will say is these are very small. These are a lot smaller than the real one. The real one is 60. Okay, so you're really getting your money's worth. Okay, now the Madam Glam poly gel is only 30 ml and that's around 40 42 I can't remember exactly how much I will put it on the screen it's 40 something dollars for the poly gel on Mad Madam Glam but that is only 30 mls you're paying I think I got this stuff for 48 or 58 and it's 60 gram okay uh, two ounces that's a lot more than this okay so that's why you're gonna pay more for this one because you're getting a lot more Alright, now in comparison with this, this is pretty much just a builder gel in a bottle. If you want a builder gel, go buy a builder gel. It'll do the same exact thing, but, but, another another good thing about the Venalisa, you're getting 45 grams of it. And for the money, for like a couple bucks, $4, whatever it was, it's a lot cheaper than going out and buying a builder gel, to be honest. So, I mean, you know, you're getting your money's worth. You're definitely getting your money's worth. And Venalisa has many colors. And I actually heard the Canny, and I'm just going to show you this for reference as well. I got the Canny Clear and I got the Canny uh, Nude Pink. I um, have not tried this one, but I have messed around with it and it is the exact same as the Venalisa. It's the same company, you guys. Same thing. They just came out with more colors and now it's going by Canny instead of Venalisa. So, yeah. Same exact thing, more colors, pretty much I think same price. You're getting 45 grams of that, same as the Venalisa. Uh, yeah, same as the Venalisa, see? Same exact thing. Okay, so either one of these is good to go if you want just a builder gel in a bottle, sculpting gel in a bottle, whatever. Um, they work, they do work. But if you're wanting more pricey gels, then you're gonna go with the Poly Gel uh, Madame Glam or real Poly Gelish gel. Holy Joe. <laughs> anyway, you know what I'm saying, right? Okay, I hope. But here we go. With the, like I said, with the Madam Glam, you're only going to get 30 mLs. No, that's not a lot. Honestly, I don't know how many sets of nails this would do. I don't think it would do a whole lot, but I do have it on this hand, and it, it worked really well. It went on very nice. Um, I applied it the same way I applied it to this hand, I'm going to apply it to my other hand and show you guys. We're going to do the complete tutorial. This may be a long video, so just stay with me. Um, everything in this video will be from Madam Glam, except the dual forms. And, of course, I'm using alcohol. You do not have to buy a slip solution for this stuff. You do not have to mix a solution. You can use plain old isopropyl alcohol from Walmart. 70%, 75%, 91%, 99%. 
anything will do okay so you do need a you can also use monomer I've heard monomer works just just as good but don't use acetone I've heard that acetone really softens the product too much and it can eat it like eat it up quick so don't do that the Madame Glam poly gel is very comparable to the gelish pretty much the same thing I would say it is a hybrid between hard gel and acrylic is what it says now this says it is a hard gel so like the Venalisa I'm hearing is a soak off gel now so I, you know someone told me it wasn't vice versa whatever they used it they tried it it does soak off so not not this one but the Venalisa so I'm guessing that the Venalisa and the Canny are soak off gels this here says like I said a true hybrid between hard gel and acrylic so this does have acrylate ac what do you call that acrylate acrylates acrylates so yes if you're allergic to acrylic then I don't think you can use this product but here are all the ingredients if you guys are wondering you can take a screenshot boom there you go and here's the warning screenshot it if you'd like all right the color that I got is Japanese Camellia if I said that wrong I'm sorry that's the color it's a very nice very nice color it's not the color that I would have chosen but they were out of the ones that I wanted when I was asked to review their products so anyway it does come with a brush and a spatula which is really really nice this is the Madame Glam brush gel brush and spatula together <clears throat> it's absolutely beautiful beautiful brush as you can see here it's very nice etching okay has Madame Glam New York there very nice etchings pop it off you got your spatula on one end which is makes it really nice then the other side here you have your nice rounded gel brush these are the type that I like I really like the rounded type gets into the cuticle area side walls really nicely slips loose and slip solution from Jellish only because I still have some and I want to use it up normally I would just use alcohol it's the same thing pretty much so got my slip here I am gonna go ahead and prep the nail I know um, a couple of you had asked me to show you exactly what I'm, I'm gonna do in the video so I'm gonna show you exactly what I do I do have a prep video if you guys want to go watch it so let's quit talking First thing you're going to do, make sure your nails are all buffed and clean around the cuticle, push your cuticle back, all that good stuff. Like I said, I have a complete review on that, or a complete video on how you prep your nail. You're going to make sure your hands are clean before you start this, you know, sanitize them, whatever you got to do, go wash them with soap. You're going to take some alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and just clean my nail off really, really good because I have went a couple days. <clears throat> I am not doing this like right away. I have taking a break and I'm sure there are oils and dirt and you don't want any of that or you're gonna get lifting so just make sure that everything is nice and clean before you do anything else to the nails all right now I'm gonna take my dehydrator I know I already used alcohol but I'm doing it anyway just to show you the next step ASP I got prep and, prep and clean to hydrate from Sally's Beauty you can use whatever you want I put it on the entire nail we're going to try to get this process a little faster than the Venalisa video. I know that was a long video, guys. The next thing, you're going to wait after that dries. You're going to put on your your uh, acid, your uh, primer. And I'm using tones. Always do. Always have. It's the Ultra Bond Low Odor Acid Free Primer. I love it. It works great. I apply two coats. Normally, what you would do is you would apply it by the cuticle wherever there was... Um, your nail, the nail bed, a uh, naked nail, whatever you want to say, and then you can pull it up the entire nail if you don't have anything on there. I do have a little bit of gel on there because I never, I never file all my gel off, but I always go ahead and put it on the entire nail. Anyway, it's not going to hurt. Just make sure you don't get it into your cuticle inside walls. If you do, just try to clean it up. You're going to take a base gel. I'm going to use my Madame Glam base gel. All right, so you're just gonna lay down, like I said, just lay down your base. And after your base is laid, you're gonna then cure this in your lamp for the recommended time. So I'm gonna go ahead now and cure these for a good 60 seconds, and then we'll be back. 
Okay, one quick thing I do want to say. These little palettes, Born Pretty is sold out and they're not getting any more. But I do have a link below and I will link a link below. They have them on AliExpress thanks to one of my subscribers who sent me a link. Okay, now after you've got your base gel on, you're ready for the poly gel application. Okay, it's not it's not that, yeah, it's sticky when it comes out of the bottle, but it really does work like the poly gel, and I'll, I'll show you that when we get to that part, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it on like a dual form, or we're going to put it on with my dual forms. I'm going to use the YS dual forms because they have a nice arch. I really like the arch in these. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your poly gel. You don't need a whole lot. What I'm doing is I'm forming my tips first. This is how I always do it. I do not always go, do not go all the way down to my cuticle. But I'm going to go to the cuticle after we apply my tips, okay? All right, so here we go. You're gonna take your poly gel. You don't need any of the solution just yet. You're gonna take it and you're gonna go however long you wanna go with it and then you're just gonna pull it down. And then after you get it in there, if you still got some left, just pop that on there. Don't worry about the way it looks. We're going to put that down with the brush. I'm going to turn it this way. This one's a little harder to hold because it's so tiny. And you're going to... See, this stuff is really easy to move around. It's just like the poly gel. Just like the real stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your form, and you can use the regular forms, you don't have to use these, and you're going to, I like I said, I never go to the cuticle, I always go up a bit, I'm going to go like right there. And in a minute, okay, so you're going to press down, I'm not going to press too hard, I do want to get it shaped up a bit, like you don't want it to be crooked, so get it as straight as you can. Flip it over. If you have any um, that's bulking here, take your alcohol and just go ahead and smooth that down like that. Just smooth it down. Flip it over. Make sure that it's still sitting on the nail. Okay. I don't have a whole lot coming out here, so I'm not going to worry about that. If you have any coming out your side walls, go ahead and take care of that. Get it off. But when you put it in your lamp, you're going to want to make sure that it's on that nail so I hold it when I put it into my lamp. So I'm gonna go and cure this 30 seconds on this side. I'm gonna flip it and do 30 seconds on that side. So give me a sec. Okay, so like I said, 30 seconds on one side, flip it 30 seconds on the other. Once that's done, pinch. And it pops right off. See that, look at that. See how nice, you have a tip. We, I am going to get rid of that bulk. I know a lot of you say, why didn't I do that before? Well, it is kind of hard when it's just me and I'm doing this alone. And yeah, so I'm just, I'm not even going to worry about that. I can always file that with a file. You don't even have to use your drill, e-file, whatever. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. Okay. We are going to add strength to this nail, but I'm not going to use a dual form. I am going to use the brush and it's very easy with this poly gel because it's, like I said, it's the real stuff. I am going to clip the nail down a bit because I did go a little too far as you can see here. I do want them to match. I'm going to go that way and I'm just going to go with a little bit of it at first. See how easy that is to clip? This stuff is super soft and it and it and um, it's very easy, very easy to file. Okay, I still have a bit to go so I'm going to do it a little bit long, a little bit more. Put it in there like that. Uh, let's see right there. Yep, and that's perfect, and I can file it straight across. All right. When you're using a dual form, you need to make sure that the dual form, of course you need to make sure that it's going to go from sidewall to sidewall. Okay. From sidewall to sidewall. But you also need to make sure, if I can show you guys, you also need to make sure that you're going to have room in there enough for your product. You you don't... Okay, there we go. Okay, you see how it's it's not touching my nail? There is room in there for product. 
but that is what you're going to do. The, and with the dual forms, just make sure, just make sure it goes from sidewall to sidewall and that you have enough room for the product. So here we go. We're going to do this again. I'm going to pop it out. You're going to get about that much. You don't need a whole lot. This stuff goes a long way. You're going to, let's see, this one isn't that long. Let's start right here, right there, and bring it down. Okay. This one actually did quite well, so I probably won't have to move it around a whole lot. Now, this stuff is not going to self-level. It's going to take a very long time for it to move. It's just like, like I said, it's like the real poly gel. Um, so if you want to move it or if you want to shape it into a different shape, you can go ahead and do that. I mean, I can, I can try and make it a little square and then, of course, bring it down some. Make sure everything's nice and smooth. Make sure there's no air bubbles. You can do that, okay? But in the meantime, I'm just going to take it and... I guess we're going to do my pinky. Yeah. All right. Or my pointer. We're going to do my pointer. My bad. Okay. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to go right here, right before my cuticle area. I'm going to push it down just a bit. You don't have to push it down a whole lot. Flip it over. There's no product going into my nail. That's a wonderful thing. Now you're going to go ahead and cure 30 seconds and flip it and cure 30 seconds. Give me just a sec. Alright guys, wiggle wiggle, wiggle wiggle, wiggle it, pinch it, and pop it right off. And I do love this color. I really like the color. It's really pretty. Here we go. Next next one is going to be my middle finger All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got one more to do. And then what I'm going to do after that, you have to buff these because they're shiny. You have to buff them because we're going to be adding the cuticle area and build it, building up the nail and apex. Now, you don't have to smooth it down every time. I'm just I'm making sure 
that it's where I want it to be and everything looks good. I do love this brush. I really love it. And these have held up quite well. I've had them on for about a week now. I've had no breakage. I've had no no nothing. We will find out if I have lifting, but that also could be my fault. That the lifting is most of the time not the product's fault. I'm just saying, you know. Really, it's not. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. Looks good. I'm going to go ahead and cure it. And I'll show you what they look like. But then what we're going to have to do. Actually, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Uh, 30 on front one side, 30 on the other. Then I'm going to go ahead and buff the surface. File it a little bit. And then we're going to come back and do the cuticle area. Okay. Alrighty, I'm back. And I just wanted to go ahead and show you what I did. I went ahead and filed them with a hand file, shaped them with a buffer, and smoothed down my cuticle area where it was a little lumpy. It wasn't that bad, but you do want to do that before you add more product. Wipe off all of the excess. Now, you guys saw how thin that I used this stuff. How thin it still is. It's very thin. And it's not breaking. Like, I filed these with my hand file. And it's not, they're not breaking. I mean, you can even see them in my nail still. That's how thin these are. So, and you can see how thin I did them. And the product is still very nice and uh, strong. So I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. I'm going to now take some alcohol pads. And I'm going to clean off everything. And then we're going to apply the gel with the brush. Okay, so now, again, you can go ahead and prep these. You're going to add your dehydrator, primer, because, like I said, I don't go to my cuticle. If you do, you don't have to do this step. It'll save you. My base, and I'm going to go all the way to the cuticle with it and pull it up. And like I said, this will also make the nail stronger. Alright, I'm going to go ahead now and cure these. Let's go here. You're going to lay it down. I'm dipping it into my solution. You can use alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. And the solution. Now, see the poly gel? See how easy that is? It's like real, it's like the real, the real poly gel. This is not like the Venalisa. This is real stuff, okay? It's, it's the real deal. You're going to get it tight. Nice and tight on that cuticle area. Nice and tight on the side walls. You're going to bring it up. Dip your brush every now and then so you can get, you know, more, more pull. And you're going to just pull. And you're just going to... Keep making sure that uh, side walls and cuticle area are tight. Those are good. Now you can concentrate on pulling that product down the nail. And I think that we've got just enough product. Go ahead and turn it. Make sure it's looking nice. All right. I'm going to need a little more. Make sure you have enough solution on the brush. You're going to pull, 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 pull. Keep checking the side, see how nice. Okay, pull. It's starting to thin out, starting to get thinner. That's what you want. You don't want the tip to be too thick. Okay. Pull it all the way to the tip. Got a nice poly gel nail. Okay, make sure the sides are nice and flat. If you have any product, go ahead and get it out. Look at the side wall. Everything looks pretty, pretty good. Good. Look down the barrel. Boom. Nice. Anything that is not accurate, you can get with a file. 
but I'm gonna go ahead you can move on to the next nail but I did notice guys when I was doing my other hand I just had a hair I did notice when I was doing my other hand that I kept going and eventually this moves so I'm gonna flash cure this for 15 seconds and then move on to the next so give me a sec and that was only 15 seconds and it's it's hard okay and as you can see here I do need to file it a bit it's a little all right with my pinky I'm not gonna get as much product I'm gonna get that much there's not a whole lot there still feels like there's I would say so I've already done one I would say maybe half of this left but like I said you could probably get maybe three full sets if you're doing them long if you're not doing them long and you're doing them on short nails then you probably get more okay so again lay the poly gel down I'm gonna do this with one more nail or I'll do it with the pinky and then I'll do it with one more just to show you guys because this, this angle is kind of hard. Okay, so again, you're going to pat it down. Let me pull it down some more. I am going to pat and press. You want it nice and tight into the cuticle area, side walls, okay? Nice and tight. Nice and tight. If you need more solution, grab it. You don't need too much. I got too much that time. Okay, nice and tight. Nice and tight. Okay. All right. Most of your product is going to be in the center. Bring it up but this is really nice I really do like it I mean look you can get a really nice nail and you don't have to hurry with it you know you can you can take your time you know and make it look nice I'm gonna turn make sure everything looks nice and neat which I'll file that little lump there you know look down your barrel it's a little thick but again I am going to file that so so I'm gonna go ahead now and flash cure that for 15 seconds I'm gonna set it right there I think even with that much I think we got too much with the poly gel you don't need a whole lot all right so I'm gonna first I'm gonna put it into a ball yeah I think I got way too much but we'll we'll figure it out in a minute okay so put it into your ball and then press down into the cuticle make sure you're keeping your sidewalls in the gel I mean my bad okay put it into the cuticle area sidewalls nice and tight see there's still way too much gel All right. I'm hoping I can save some of that. I brought it all the way up to the tip like I did before and I took some off because it was way too much. All right. So I'm just making sure that everything is nice and tight. My sidewalls are nice and tight. Everything is nice and smooth in the center. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure that. I will do the other two off camera. All right, after I've gotten them completely finished, now I have to file, shape, and buff. 
All right, guys, I went ahead, filed, shaped, and buffed these. Okay, everything looks good. You want to always check down the barrel of the nail, side walls, make sure everything's nice and tight. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, everything is nice and smooth. I did go ahead and wash my hands again after I filed because this stuff is kind of weird. Um, that's another thing I want to tell you guys. You're going to want to wash your hands because it's really hard to get all the lint, all the uh, dust and stuff off of the poly gel. I don't know why, but it is. That's It's it's more of like a sticky uh, dust than a just a dust dust. It's very different. It's very light. I mean, it's really light. Like It doesn't even feel like I have nails on. That's how light this stuff is. It's very nice. I, I do think I'm going to really enjoy it. It's a little different than the Vanillisa or the Canny. It is more, like I said, like the Poly Gel, way better to, way better to use if you're not going to use dual forms. It's, it works really, really well um, without using a, a dual form. You can definitely shape these um, without it being too sticky because it's not sticky at all. It is when you, if you feel it. But it's not with the brush. Like when you have the alcohol and the brush, it works just like poly gel. It's amazing. It's wonderful. And I know I'm going to like it. I just hope it wears well. And um, like I said, if I do get lifting, it's probably my fault. Uh, but anyway, this is how it turned out. I think they look, they look fairly decent. It was harder on my non-dominant hand, but I, I got it. Um... Again, let's see, you get the brush, you get the poly gel. I am gonna put some cuticle oil on because that's I always do that. And I did I do have some homemade cuticle oil for all of my new subscribers. Um, if you want to know how I make that, it's in a video way, way, way back. Just type in if you go to my uh, channel, type in homemade cuticle oil. I have I think it's like lavender and rose. Anyway, you're going to do that. You're going to put your cuticle oil on. Oh, it's got coconut oil in it as well. Go ahead and put that on. You can rub that on. I'm not putting a top coat on right now, guys, because I'm still got to design these nails. And that design will come on Monday because it's going to be, like I said, this is my final Valentine nail look. I've just got to finish this hand. And that video will be coming Monday. And you can just leave it on the nail. Leave it on just like that leave it on the whole nail just rub it in really good and then you can take your buffer after you got your cuticle oil on and go ahead and buff the surface and then of course wash your hands again apply more <laughs> whatever you want to do it's totally up to you I'm just telling you what I do but that is the poly gel that is it that's my experience with it and like I said this one's been on for about I guess about a week I think I did these last week and they're wearing very nicely. They haven't chipped. They haven't broken. They haven't done anything. They've they've been nice, and I they're long. Um, they're they're wearing very nicely. So I just want to say a big, huge thank you to Madam Glam for reaching out to me to try these products. I really appreciate you guys. Love your products. Your gels are amazing. Absolutely love them. So thank you again, and I want to thank you all, to all my subscribers for checking in, watching my videos every day, commenting, giving me a thumbs up, liking, you know, like sharing my videos. I really appreciate it, guys. I really, really do, and I hope you'll stay because I have more videos coming, lots more videos coming this year. But Monday, definitely for sure, I will be completely finished with this Valentine's Day nail look. I did just upload how to do this little heart here. So if you guys want to watch that video, I will put it in at the end of this video. You can click on that link and watch that. And another thing, the poly gel does not have a smell. There's a slight smell, but to me, honestly, it's way better than acrylics. It's way better. And it actually kind of smells like a perfume type, uh, uh, kind of like a perfumey smell. But I don't know. I like it. It's not bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry it was so long. But I hope I covered everything. If you guys still have other questions, let me know. Um, I'm trying to think and make sure that I've got everything covered. 
I will leave the link to Madame Glam's website down below where you can purchase this if you would like. Color I think is very beautiful. I think they have six colors. So that's it. That's it. I promise, guys, that's it. No more talking. I will let you go. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to click that like button if you like it. Just smash it. Just smash that like button if you like the video. Share it with your friends. If you know someone who wants to see the Madam Glam Poly Gel video, share it, share it, share it. Subscribe if you have not because I've got more videos coming and I promise you'll want to see these. Alright guys, bye.